Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dave. Today I'm finally bringing you my recap of the 10X Growth Conference. Now what I want you to do real quick before we get into the story and I give you my full review and favorite quotes on every speaker. If you went to the 10X Growth Conference this year, comment down below 10X. If you did not, comment down below with no or next year. That way I know what the audience is that I'm talking about. Now, let's get into my story. guys first step is done we're headed to miami for three days grant cardone's famous third annual 10x growth conference that has gotten so big that they had to use the marlins baseball stadium for like 30 35 thousand people it's gonna be insane super excited i'm gonna get to hear grant cardone elena cardone john maxwell russell brunson steve harvey Ty Lopez and a bunch of other great entrepreneurs talk. So super excited and we'll uh, keep you guys, keep tabs on you on the journey. All right guys, first glimpse. We are here at the 10X Growth Conference. I gave you this cool little flag and uh, the energy here is just insane. So we're getting ready to start soon and I am excited. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to keep this as short as humanly possible. So the first speaker up was none other than Grant Cardone. And Grant talked three different times this weekend, once each morning. He talked about sales, marketing, and execution. So and I'm reading my notes. That bothers you. I'm sorry. My biggest question he asked on the first day was, what would 10x look like in my life? And he had us all think about it. So for me, that would look like freedom and control of my life. Um, very powerful question. If you could 10X your life, what would it look like? And then he also talked about everyone is in sales. That's the short snippet. Some of those other speeches were better, but Grant's always fired up and it's good. Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, came out and he talked about how to use ClickFunnels to bridge the gap between your product and your customer. He talked about finding someone who's successful and then model their business, even, even if that means buying their product and, and seeing how everything works behind the scenes, and then you can build something similar and you'll be successful. Jesse Itzler, one of the best speakers of the event for sure, but probably one of the better speakers I've heard. I just, something about his personality is just on fire. And he is such an upbeat, happy, honest dude, and he's like, He's like the people's entrepreneur. Like he's the guy who like you hear about. Who like, I mean, he he literally talked about. He doesn't have a bucket list. He has a fuck it list. Like that's hilarious to me. Um, so he said he didn't have a business plan. As an entrepreneur, you are the business plan. And that was huge. And then he comes out and he says, if you don't have a seat at the table, make one. He helped, he had this awesome story uh, in proportion to that. But you know, I'm not going to give away his speaking material. Great, great stuff. Basically said he had no prior experience in anything he did. And for those of you who don't know, Jesse Gitzler started Marquee Jet and Zico, the coconut water company. So he's, he's a billionaire, I mean, and uh, he's done it himself, which is awesome. So he said self-doubt is the number one enemy of success. And then he said, and this is, this is powerful, you didn't come this far to only come this far. So that was cool. Sarah Blakely, who is consequently Jesse Gitzler's wife, uh, and the CEO and starter of Spanx, and apparently this many years later, 18 years, right? Yeah, 18 years later, still owns 100% of the business, which is just amazing. Um, she's been on the Shark Tank a few times, too. Uh, so she said her dad encouraged her to fail. She used to get asked questions like, what did you fail at this week? And I thought that was really cool, the idea that we need to teach our kids to fail because... You know, failure is where you learn, failure is where you grow, and the idea is if you're not failing, then you're not trying new things. So you need to get out there and fail more. So that was really cool. Uh, and then as soon as you can, afford to hire your weaknesses, which is kind of where I'm struggling at right now. I need to hire a virtual assistant. I've just been bumming it off. And then uh, she said, everything in life is sales. And then the last quote from her is, uh, money does not change you. Money makes you more of who you already are or already were. Okay, so the last two, Ty Lopez. Now, 
honestly, he surprised me. Uh, you know, I was not really sure what to think because there's kind of this reputation on the internet about him, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. He, I don't know. I just didn't really have an opinion. Um, he did very well. I, I really liked his speech, uh, and he said this was really powerful. He said, "You get paid in proportion to the difficulty of the problems you solve." And I thought that was huge. If you're, you know, if you're trying to solve like how do I keep this door from slamming shut? You're probably not going to get paid as much as someone who's, say, trying to figure out how to travel to Mars. Just saying. Um, and then for uh, marketing stuff, he also said, uh, the more complicated or expensive your product is, the longer the video explanation should be. This last speaker for day one, <clears throat> I was really excited about this, and he definitely blew it out of the park. So, Steve Harvey, whose catchphrase is apparently, you're tripping. But he's awesome. He was funny. He was good. Um, he said, the Bible says, man without dreams shall perish. So why would I stop having dreams? I'm not ready to die. I like that. That was in response to Grant asking, like, come on, man, you're getting older. Why, why are you still trying to push so hard? Well, there's your answer. And he's, he talked about finding your gift. So what is the thing? Your gift is the thing you do best with the least amount of effort. He talked about finding your gift and pursuing your gift. And that's how you make money. If you're doing your gift you're gonna get paid. And I thought that was really cool. And then he says, if you ain't willing to jump, you ain't fitting to be nothing. And I can't do that accent enough, but it was good. All right guys, so day one, 10X Growth Conference is over. Um, that was awesome. Lots of really good takeaways. There were some pretty solid quotes. I look forward to bringing them all to you. Bill, Bill and Kevin, we're walking into 10X Growth Con Day 2. Who are you guys excited to see today? Uh, probably Damon, mostly. Yeah, we don't actually know who the speakers are for today, but I'm excited for Damon and whenever John Maxwell comes out. So uh, we'll keep you updated. All right, guys, so day two started off with a bang. Grant Cardone brought in Snoop Dogg to open day two. Now, of course, I, uh, time zones and stuff, and being out the night prior, I kind of miss most of Snoop Dogg, but I heard it as I was walking in, it was awesome. Um, so Grant talked about getting seen. He paid $45,000 for the two best World Series seats right behind the catcher, and I remember seeing him. So he talks about you need to get, keep, and multiply attention. So how do you get in front of people? How do you gain attention? That's the trick to becoming successful. So uh, I thought that was huge. Uh, at one point he was talking about someone saying he has ADD and he said, I don't have ADD. You can't keep my attention. That's your problem. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you're not going to write, you're, you're not going to say and do and write everything right. Just take massive action, figure it out. Getting it out there is more important than getting it right. And uh, if the public doesn't know you, they won't flow you. And best known always beats the best. So you got to get out there. You got to get seen. My age! So the next speaker up was Damon John, which was awesome. Uh, as you can see in the video before, we were kind of excited to hear him talk. So he talks, I think my favorite quote he said was, poverty exists in the mind. Being broke is a choice. And yes, Alex, please, we know that's the name of your website. So if you're watching this, we get it. But Damon John said it, and he's bigger than you are. So be a better yourself. Damon was awesome. It was definitely cool to hear his story. So I'm a big fan. Uh, he talked a lot about the uh, his advice for like a pitch for Shark Tank. And... Uh, I'm not gonna give it to you. So if you want it, comment below. Maybe I'll text it. John C. Maxwell. So John Maxwell stole the show. My favorite speaker of the event. Probably, I mean, he was one of the two best speakers I've ever heard in my life. I mean, his inflection, his tone, his pace, everything was amazing. So he comes out on stage and he says, my name is John and I am your friend. And he started the whole speech. I'm not gonna give you his whole intro, but I wrote his whole intro down because I thought it was really good. Uh, he said, everything worthwhile in life is uphill, so you're going to have to fight for it. Just know that. If, it, if it's not uphill, it's not worth your time. And he talked about being intentional in personal growth and development, setting your priorities, having partnerships, and then adding value to other people. He gave some really, really, really good tidbits. In fact, I took like two and a half full pages of notes. I think he's the only person I did that with. But my favorite quote from him for the day was that if you have a finish line, you're finished. There is no finish line in life. Keep putting out content. Keep going. All right, the next speaker of the day was Ryan Dice. He runs digital marketing. Uh, he's pretty cool, gave some cool insight. Uh, my favorite thing that he said was, 
perfect is the enemy of speed, and money loves speed. So be willing to look stupid and get it out there fast. I thought that was really cool. So the final speech of the day was Elena Cardone, and she started off, she was just awesome. She really was. I was really excited to hear her speak, and she was great. She started off talking about how a Clydesdale can pull 8,000 pounds. But if you hitch two Clydesdales together, they can pull 24,000 pounds. Now, if you train those two Clydesdales, they can pull 32,000 pounds. Humans argue about the most petty things. Horses, they just get the job done. And she started it off that way, and she did a really good job talking about partnerships and being on the same page as your spouse, your partner, whoever that may be, and just how much more you can get done if you're working together. So I thought it was really cool. Elena, great speech, absolutely awesome. Day three started off with some unnamed knucklehead ordering the wrong size Uber. So we kind of piled in because nobody wanted to be late because on day two there was Snoop Dogg. So we wanted to see who was gonna be, who could possibly top that for day three. So this was the intro for day three. Pretty cool, huh? I'd never gotten to see Little John perform and it was actually pretty solid. So day three started off again with Grant Cardone and today he talked about execution. So one of the things he did, I'm sure it was staged, I don't know, I hope so, otherwise the guy got fired, is he had someone come out on stage wearing a different hat, for like a hat that wasn't 10X. And Grant started off by making him go off stage and take his hat off and then he said, execution means that my guy does not wear the hat he wants to wear, he wears the hat that we need to sell. I thought that was cool. I never even thought about that. So non-negotiables, he talks about getting everyone on the same page, finding 10X role models, insistence on target attainment, future events to pull you forward, which is huge. Daily skills training, improve a little bit every day. Take care of yourself, marketing and advertising, multiple flows of income. Now to make his point about getting everyone on stage, he pulled up not one, but two people to make his point. He pulled up his nine-year-old daughter and his seven-year-old daughter, which was huge to me so he got them on stage they both spoke and they just they did so well i mean they both looked like they were professional speakers which is just mind-boggling because they're not even 10 years old and they're speaking to over 30,000 people so that was huge grant elena i mean that was so impressive that speaks volumes to me all right so the last speaker prior to grant cardone closing everything out was pete vargas pete vargas is uh, all about speaking and stages he's gotten events together at the white house and all over the world and it was really cool to hear him talk about getting a signature speech and just making sure that your speaking ability is really good and how to monetize speaking and how to get your speech to different platforms and stages uh, honestly i probably would have bought into it i just you know i already have this guy who's awesome that i'm working with so i gotta stick with him but really good that was the 10x growth con in a nutshell Right, so now that you've heard my thoughts on all the speakers, some of my favorite quotes, maybe some of my least favorite quotes, what I want to do is take a moment and tell you my thoughts of the 10X Growth Conference as a whole. The 10X Growth Conference was amazing. So, my probably the only complaint that I have, aside from the fact that the audio was kind of bad the first day, but it's because we were in a Marlins baseball stadium, it's like a metal can, so they kind of cracked the roof a little bit, and all of a sudden the echo was gone, it was great, audio was fine, the rest of the conference was great. That was just a little bit, uh, not a big deal, I mean that happens. Especially when you cram 35,000 people and that kind of high tech audio system into a baseball stadium that's normally meant to hold not as many because it's the Marlins, let's be honest. So the conference as a whole was really good. Uh, some of my favorite things were the speakers, there were some very high level speakers, probably my favorites were John Maxwell, Steve Harvey, and Jesse Itzler, all of which were awesome. And then, of course, Grant Cardone, Elena Cardone, and their daughters, which are just phenomenal. The nine-year-old and the seven-year-old both gave a short speech in the middle of the presentation, and you would have never known 
that they weren't professional speakers. They were very, very good. So Grant, Elena, I mean, that was just amazing. Uh, so I'm just blown away by the skill level that your daughters have at speaking already. I mean, that's a skill that some people, it's just mind boggling to think that for the rest of their lives, they may never ever be able to say, I've never spoken to a crowd this big because they've already spoken to 30, 35,000 people and they're not even 10 years old. So that was amazing. You guys are doing something great there with your daughters. Probably my least favorite thing about the 10X Growth Conference is the networking. Uh, I think that in order to really get some solid networking, you need to pay the price to get down on the floor. I didn't do that this time around. I think in the future I will, lesson learned. Uh, there were some really good networking opportunities and it's not the event's fault that the networking wasn't great. It's just, when you've got that many people crammed into a stadium, it, it's really hard to tell who's in what industry. So you end up talking to a bunch of people that are good people, but they don't really benefit you and your industry per se. So it's kind of hard for me to find people in my niche. That being said, I did find a few and it worked out very well, so I was very excited about that. Uh, the event was great, the people were great, the atmosphere was great, the speaker's amazing. I definitely recommend it if you want to go for, it's more of like an entrepreneur, leadership, sales type of conference. Uh, and, and you know, there are some sales pitches from some of the speakers, but they're, they're items that I would like to use anyway, and they're offered at a really good price. So some of the really good ones there, like Russell Brunson offered a huge discount on ClickFunnels. Uh, Pete Vargas offered a great program on speaking. Uh, had I not already been working with uh, Up My Influence, I probably would have looked into their uh, speaking stages platform. So a lot of really good content. Even Ty Lopez, who admittedly not necessarily my favorite entrepreneur, came out and, I mean, he did an awesome job tearing websites apart and uh, tearing people's Instagrams apart and talking about social media. And it, it was really eye-opening to hear that. He's actually a lot better and a lot cooler than I thought. You know, he just, some, for some reason, he gets not the best rap, but I, I liked it. He gave a good speech. It, it was good for me. So the 10X Growth Conference, go or no go? I would recommend it. Now, if you're looking for overall speaking, definitely check it out. If you're looking to, you know, spend some time in a seminar where you get more networking opportunities, this might not be your best bet, but overall, the conference is amazing and I highly recommend it. Check it out. Grant, you guys, I mean, your team, you guys, you crushed it. I'll be back. Thanks.